For the past year, the Emergency Committee and WHO have been analyzing the data carefully and considering when the time would be right to lower the level of alarm. Yesterday, the Emergency Committee met for the 15th time and recommended to me that I declare an end to the public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. It's therefore with great hope that I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency. However, that does not mean COVID-19 is over as a global health threat. Last week, COVID-19 claimed life every three minutes, and that's just the deaths we know about. As we speak, thousands of people around the world are fighting for their lives in intensive care units and millions more continue to live with the debilitating effects of post-COVID-19 condition. This virus is here to stay. It's still killing, and it's still changing. The risk remains of new variants emerging that cause new surges in cases and deaths. The worst thing any country could do now is to use this news as a reason to let down its guard, to dismantle the systems it has built or to send the message to its people that COVID-19 is nothing to worry about.